Good afternoon, my beautiful soul followers. I am Addison Bell. If you've never been on my channel, and welcome to Addison Unleashed. So today we're doing it chill style on the floor, just relaxed. Um, you might see my two fur babies running back and forth. They, I was out all morning, so they are missing mom. They are missing mom time. So uh, anyway, anyway, so. On Saturday, this, this upcoming Saturday, I am teaching Men's O Camp. Um, and for those of you who have never been to an orgasm camp, it is all about learning the energetics and the tantric perspective on our sex and how to really gain a depth to sex that most people do not have in the bedroom. And I've gotten a lot of feedback about the men's camp because I do the female camp all the time and it is usually sells out overnight. It's usually insane. It's insane the amount of people who want to learn about female orgasm, which is a beautiful thing. I am all for female orgasm, believe me. But it's been interesting because I've heard a lot, of, a couple people say, but why do I want to learn about men's, men's orgasm? Like that's easy, that's simple. That's, I mean, men are easy, like, they're one, two, three, like, like, you can make them pop real quick. And I've listened to some of the feedback over and over again from clients to actual uh, people just interested in the event. And it was, it's been really quite interesting because we have this perception that men are like a light switch. We just tap them on. And then they, they have their, their ejaculation moment, their climax moment. It's not even a true orgasm. They have their climax moment and then they're done. And then they're done. And that is what they get. That is all they get out of the bedroom. Like they get theirs and then they're done. And it's offensive to me. I actually find it quite offensive. Um, even though I'm not a, even though I'm not a man, I work with so many beautiful conscious men who really do tap into their sex and they step into their divine masculine, that true masculine energy where they're leading and they really do want to see their woman in a state of pleasure. But there is this energy of women being like, I don't need to focus on him. I don't really need to focus on him. He gets, that's all he can get. He's not multi-orgasmic. And the fact is this not only decreases the the depth of a man's sex this idea but it also decreases the spirituality of a man you understand that and the energetic capabilities of a man men can be multi-orgasmic they can and i have been with many a partner that is multi-orgasmic and it is a beautiful experience to watch my partner in and out of rolling orgasms. It's it's amazing. And I'm sure for men watching women that also are can be multi-orgasmic, doing that same thing is also just as amazing. But it really limits. I mean, men have a beautiful energetic capability in their masculine energy. Men are the leaders in the bedroom. And I know that people take offense to that. I mean, the masculine energy. So if you are in a homosexual, gay, lesbian, whatever kind of relationship you're in, whatever dynamic you have going, uh, whatever gender you want to call yourself, the fact is the masculine energy leads in the bedroom. It does. Now, the feminine leads in a different way. It's not that we don't lead at all. We lead in a different way, with a different energy, with a different intent in the energy. It is more about getting into the heart space. This is where a woman really leads, and it brings the emotions deeper into the sexing. However, men lead in the bedroom. And if you don't get your man to a space where they are connected to their body, where they are in tune with their energy, where you're really taking time and you're not just trying to get them off. The fact is we have crappy sex. The feminine will have crappy sex because he is leading. He is leading in that process. And so the more we can get him into his depth, the more we as women can also dive deeper into our own sex. Uh, there's much more to this and I'm going to go over that in men's camp this weekend, but 
I also was thinking, because some of the people, some of the women that said this to me, uh, they have actually teenage boys. And I was like, you realize you just limited your, your son's capabilities, your son's spiritual capabilities, energetic capabilities, because I do believe that sex connects us with God of your understanding. So um, spirit, God, whatever you want to call call it. But I do believe that this that there is a direct connection. And so the fact is we have to get out of this mindset that men are simplistic because what it ends up doing is actually leads to more premature ejaculation because women are like, okay, let me just get him off as fast as possible. And there's other reasons for that as well, ladies. Um, sometimes we're just done. We don't want to be having sex. They were having duty sex. And so we just want to get our, our man off. And that is a completely, completely different topic. Uh, not for today. But the fact is, if you're just trying to get your man off and you're not trying to drop him into his pleasure, or men, if you're just okay getting off and not dropping into your pleasure, you're really stealing. And we use the word stealing your ability to dive deeper into self because the more we dive deep into our sex, the more we dive deep into our shadow, our light, our capabilities as humans. Um, there is so much to learn. Our sex is a mirror to so much in our lives. And the fact is, who wants crap sex? If you can be multi-orgasmic as a man, why would you not go for that? Why would you take the easy wrote out? Why would you limit yourself and your growth and your pleasure? I mean, let's take it even out of the spiritual and energetic. Why would you limit your pleasure, your ability to truly drop into pleasure? And women, if you really love your man, like so many women claim to love their man, why do you want, why do you not want him to explore his depth of his pleasure? Why do you not want to give pleasure to him and truly spend time on him? Because guess what? Men need love and attention too. Yes, us women, we need love. We need snuggles. We need kisses. We need lots of good orgasm. Um, that fills us up and we do need all of that. And I know so many men right now that are totally willing to do that for their woman. But there's so many women out there not willing to step up for their man. They are not willing. There is Zoe. There is Zoe. Uh, they're not willing to step up and step in and spend that heart-centered time on their man, really filling him up. Because I can tell you, a man who is filled up orgasmically fills you up as a woman. And in truth, is more powerful, is more decisive, has more energy at work. Why? Why, if you say you love or care about even the man you're with, would you want to steal that from him just in order to... Get him off. Just pop him off. It's fine. It's so simplistic. And also, it shames those guys who don't actually work like that, who have found that deeper level of sexing and aren't necessarily popping off quickly. So today, it's more about thinking about how are you sexing? If you're a guy, are you allowing yourself to just find these quick, climactic uh, points and then just dropping and not allowing yourself to truly find a deeper level of pleasure. And women, if you truly love your guy, why are you potentially not spending the time on him? Why are you just trying to get him off? These are just beautiful questions to ask self and to do some journaling on to really dive deeper. And you could always come if you're in the DFW area, there is still, I think, two or three seats left if you want to come to men's o camp this saturday i'm closing registration tomorrow though so if you want those seats please please register tonight um and we'll go deeper into all of this there's like a crazy like 20 page pdf or something like that i am a little bit of an overachiever when it comes to my workshops i always have more content than i have time to share so uh other than that, if you want to work with me, if you're like, I don't want to go to a workshop, Addison. I don't want to go to a workshop. Like, I'm a little uncomfortable talking about sex. I don't really want to see a, a male model. I just want to talk to you. Then you can head over to my website at addisonbuild.net backslash consult and apply to do a consult 
with me and get your butt moving. Get your butt moving. Get that pleasure awakening. So, all right, guys. I love you, and I will see you tomorrow for another Addison Unleashed.